ist das? <lacht> Hello. Hello. Happy Holidays. I'm ready for bed. Happy Holidays. Oh, I dyed my hair pink. So, if you haven't seen the video, go watch it. It's on my channel. Yeah. I'm Erica. I'm Gig. <laughs> We're the kids these days. <laughs> <laughs> um... Today we just kind of wanted to talk about holiday traditions. Yeah. And we want to start a new one, but we'll talk about that at the end, I think. Mm -hmm. um, we are both atheists. <laughs> so we do not participate in Christmas for religious reasons. Yeah, we celebrate Christmas, but not like Christmas. Like we don't, uh, like the thing is we, we don't celebrate it as... You know, it's a religious the, holiday. The birthday of the birth of baby Jesus, you know, like um, for us, it's about family and uh, and presents. And, and <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. I mean, a little bit. Giving. Yes, giving and receiving. <laughs> <laughs> and and cookies. Cookies. And lots of sugar. Yeah. Eggnog. Yep. Turkey or ham. Yeah. Both for me. Roast I, beast. Roast beast. <laughs> Watching movies. Yes, the Grinch. Yeah, sometimes playing video games with like friends and family kind of thing. No, that's just you. That's just me. Okay. <laughs> no, that's not true. I like to play GTA on Christmas morning. Yeah. Which I won't get to do this year, which is fine. You can always bring a PlayStation. No, too. that's okay. Okay. It's, it feels. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah um, so, do you want to start? Sure. So we've kind of talked about a couple of our traditions um, in my Vlogmas videos. Um, so I might be repeating myself, but I don't think all of you have watched. So I don't think it's like it's fine if I repeat myself, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you can repeat yourself as many times as you want. You can repeat yourself as many times as you want. You can repeat yourself as okay, many times okay, as you okay, want. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Three times is enough. Yeah. <laughs> For that kind of thing. Um... I guess first up for me is um, Christmas Eve. We always, um, like, the, the German side of my family, we uh, open one present on Christmas Eve and then the rest on Christmas morning. But um, if, if I was, like, at my grandparents for Christmas, on Christmas Eve, my grandma's so funny, she would... Um, be like, okay, you can open one present, and I'd choose one, and she'd be like, no, don't choose that one, choose this one instead. <laughs> and then I'd open it, and then she'd be like, open another one. <laughs> She's so great. She just loves spoiling you. Yeah. I would still have presents to open, like, it would usually just be two, like, it wouldn't mm -hmm. be like, okay, now open this one, okay, now open this one. It was always like, okay, just one more, you know, that's fine. Mm-hmm. So sweet. And I'd always get Smarties and Toblerone for Christmas. Mm -hmm. She'd hide them. Like, if she got me a purse, she'd, like, hide them in the pockets. Sometimes I wouldn't find them till later. Or, like, find money in the pockets. Man, what a spoiled girl. But I'm, like, I'm their only grandchild, so. I'm just going to double check something. Okay. Is everything okay? Yeah, I get, like, worried that we're not recording. <laughs> really yeah i'm like this is going so good so far like what if we're, what if i'm not recording oh you gotta leave that but like tell yourself what do you know yeah but what if we aren't <laughs> anyway sorry for that little distraction do you have any christmas eve traditions christmas eve well not too much usually we would just like hang out relax watch a movie the adults would probably drink a little bit. Mm. Um, and and then it would be like, okay, it's time to go to bed. And then we'd go to bed. And then the adults would stay up and, mm. like, do the stockings and put the presents under the tree. And there would be, like, a lot of, like, little... It seems like little details that would be very effective on, like, waking up in the morning. And it, it would all look really different, mm. right? Um, but I'm trying to think of, like, Christmas Eve traditions... Um, well, I mean, the last couple of years, or even the last four years, things have been a little bit different just because we hadn't been in the house, like my parents' house. Mm -hmm. We had been renting it out. 
Um, but then last year was the first year, probably like three or four years that we had actually gotten to, or no, ever since we started dating. So like four years, probably. Yeah. Five years. Five years. Um, that we got to actually spend Christmas in the house there. So it's nice to have that back because it really feels like Christmas again. Like, not that it didn't before, but... Um, but it's more like your childhood Christmas. Right? Yeah, it's like my childhood Christmas. And even though things are different because I'm not a child anymore, like, I know who puts the presents, presents under the tree. Like, I put some under the tree and, like... But now you have, like, a young nephew and it's like, yeah. you know... Yeah, exactly. I'm excited to see... Because now he's at the age where he, I, he probably comprehended a little bit more. Because mm-hmm. he's, like, what, four now? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um... So he, <laughs> it'll be interesting to see how he, how excited he gets and stuff. Like, I remember last year he was really excited about the presents. Mm. Um, but yeah, it'll be, it'll be fun to, to kind of pass that along to him. It's funny because I always think if I ever had kids, I wouldn't like tell them, like lie to them about Santa, mm-hmm. you know? But then I think, but that was so much fun yeah. as a kid believing in Santa and... Like, I didn't really feel betrayed or, like, I was lied to when I, you know, found out or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, um, sorry to anybody who's young who's watching this podcast, but uh, <laughs> uh, if Santa's you don't... Santa's real. Santa's real, guys. So is the Easter Bunny and the Tooth Fairy. Um, <laughs> I was going to say in Gremlins. I don't know why. Krampus. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, I wasn't didn't really feel, like, betrayed or anything. I... I was all like oh the magic's gone and then you know a year went by and i was like yeah i still understand what christmas is about it's like about being with family and and um kind of almost like recharging in a way yeah the holidays can be really stressful because like you gotta buy presents and whatever like if you celebrate christmas at least um so it can be a little bit stressful but and sometimes being around family can be stressful but at the same time you only really get that once or twice a year so you kind of ex- get to experience it as its own unique thing. Did you have Chris- Christmas? <laughs> Christmas? Did you have a Christmas twice a year? No, I mean like uh, people people might experience that kind of uh, that kind of thing on um, a holiday like Thanksgiving, mm. right? So they might experience that like stress of being around family more than once a year. Is what I'm saying. Oh, okay. I thought you meant, like, you experience the magic of Christmas twice a year. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> I didn't know. You didn't have two Christmases? <laughs> Christmas in July? Yeah. Um, and, uh, like, if we didn't go to my grandparents for Christmas Eve, it would be, like, I spend Christmas Eve with my dad and we'd do Christmas then. Mm-hmm. And then he'd, like, take me home to my mom's. We'd put out um, cookies for Santa and milk, of course. Mm-hmm. I don't know how my mom... Oh, well, of course. I was going to say, I don't know how she would drink that milk and eat those cookies. She probably just <laughs> put the cookies back and dumped out the milk, yeah. right? Like, I don't know why I didn't think about that. My it's mom's funny. lactose intolerant, so <laughs> she wouldn't have drinking the milk. We used to put uh, like, carrots out with the reindeers. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah. And then the other thing we would do, I don't know, it's not really Did Christmas Did your mom Eve. eat the carrots? I think my dad would eat them. <laughs> Somebody would eat the carrots because they had, like, bite marks out of them. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah. Um, it's not really Christmas Eve, but because of the way things have been going the last few years with, like, going to where everybody spends Christmas a little bit, like, close to Christmas. Not, like, a week before, but maybe, like, a day or two before Christmas. Uh, we would get a tree, right? Mm-hmm. And, like, my family, we would go out and actually cut down a tree. Yeah. Go and pick one out. Um, when I was younger, it did feel like we would actually go out into, like, more woodsy. Into the forest. Into the forest. Down. It would be someone's property where they have a bunch of Christmas trees and they would sell them. But it would be more, like, I'm from Vancouver Island, so there's a lot of wilderness out there. So it would be someone's land that is very close to the the bush, as mm-hmm. they say. <laughs> I, when I was growing up, I had a couple of friends who lived out, like, out of town, outside of the town. And whenever we went out, they'd be like, oh, hey, want to go hang out in the bush? Like, that's what we would say. And I'd be like, the bush? You mean, like, the woods? The forest? Out where all the trees are? Those aren't bushes. <laughs> Anyways, back to Christmas. Uh, we never chopped down a tree. No? No. The, f- the first time I did was, was that last year? That we yeah, did? I think so, yeah. yeah. We always had, um, I mean, we had a real tree maybe a couple times. For the most part, we, had, we just had a fake tree. Hmm. 
I always thought having a fake tree was like sacrilegious, like just so improper. Hmm. Like it just didn't feel right to me. I understand having a fake tree because it just takes it doesn't it doesn't create a huge mess. You don't have to get rid of it afterwards. Well, then you're not paying for it every year right like whereas the mm-hmm. fake tree costs the same as a real tree yeah and you get to have it for years well it depends like the fake tree you if you buy a brand new fake tree it can be like 100 bucks yeah but so can trees they were selling like five foot trees at whole foods for 75 dollars. that's whole foods though yeah but i'm saying that it's the same thing okay <laughs> <laughs> i just in my experience when you go cut down a tree it can be expensive but like sometimes you can get like I'm you know, just saying. I remember it being a little bit back in my day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and then decorating the tree. Yeah, I already got into this, but we would pick a theme every year. Right. Like red and silver, and then the tree could only be red and silver decorations. Ours would be a vomit of <laughs> nostalgia and everything old, you could find. Old, not everything we could find. We have. <laughs> just a collection right like another thing that we would traditionally put out up every year above the fireplace yeah fireplace doesn't work the, <laughs> that is um a i don't know what to call it like a picture but it's it's like a christmas tree of lights on like a felt background and you plug it in it lights up and then my nana made this and it has a bunch of these really cool eclectic colorful bright um beads glued in to Mm. make fill out the tree Mm -hmm. and it's just i always thought it was just so beautiful and so nice to put up every year because like once you put it up you turn it on then it like feels like christmas Mm -hmm. you know that kind of thing apparently it's tradition to put not tradition but what's it called it's blank (laughs) to put up like an angel on the top of the tree oh like more common yeah like it's yeah we always put up a star yeah we did too and my mom actually commented on my trivia video my christmas trivia video and said that it's to represent the star of Bethlehem. I don't know. Something like that. Mm. I can't remember what she said. I don't yeah. know anything about anything religious. <laughs> I only know a little bit. Just because, like, my mom was a part of a church when she was growing up. So mm. she did, like, teach us a little bit about it. But it wasn't, like, it wasn't mandatory for us to learn it or, you know, participate, believe in any of it. So. Let me see if I can find the comment just so that I'm not wrong, you know? Yeah. Oops, that's not YouTube. But yeah, so I find that that interesting. Like we we would actually we actually had three options. I think we did have a uh, angel, but we never put it up. Then we had a uh, a star, which we would always put up, and it lit up too. It had it had lights on it, and then we had like this other like pointy thing <laughs> that we would put on, and then we go, nah, that's ugly, and we take it off and put the star back on. Uh, ow! I broke my nail even more. Oh jeez keep breaking my nails Does anyone know how to fix it Vitamins. oh my god look it scratched, scratched you me all the way across oh wow anyways it is the star of bethlehem oh, okay interesting i didn't know that i guess it makes sense though Mhm. i feel like a star is nicer than an angel don't come at me <laughs> i feel like a star is too just because like i don't know an angel just feels like there's a person up there it's looking at me <laughs> Off on the shelf, put that on the top of the tree. Yeah. I bet people have done that. Creepy. I yeah. hate off on the shelf. The other thing that we would do is, like, my grandparents would, would give the grandkids money mm. every year, like a check, instead of having to buy us gifts. Because it just felt like they didn't know what, not that they didn't know what to get us, but they wanted us to spend it on stuff that we wanted to. Yeah. Or, like, for me, usually I will put it away. Mm-hmm. I'll save it, and I'll tell my grandma, I'm like, I'm saving it. And she's like, oh, good, you know? They want to know what you spend it on. Yeah, yeah. Grandparents always do. Yeah. And now um, it's turning into parents. Like, I don't want to... If my parents are watching this, I don't mean it as in you're the age of grandparents. <laughs> you guys are getting old. <laughs> okay. No. I just mean it as, like, like now, like, you know, when they give me money, they're like, let me know what you buy, you know? Mm-hmm. I bought lunch. <laughs> I bought lunch three times. <laughs> Or, like, if they give me a gift card, they're like, let me know what you buy with this, you know? Yeah. And it's it's fine. I'm not saying, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying you're old. I'm just saying you're turning into grandparents. No, I'm not pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I mean. I'm going to shut my mouth. Yeah. Um, the stockings were a really big part of Christmas for me. Mm. I for really us, like it stockings. Was just, it was just chocolate and toothbrushes in there. Yeah. 
I make it sound like it wasn't special. It was still yeah. nice. But, you know, the main attraction was the gifts. Yeah. But, like, you've experienced with my family. We, we you go all go, out, go with, all the out with the stockings. And, my like, my mom, she's usually one of the people that kind of gets that all organized. Yeah. She loves doing the stockings. Yeah. And because, like... We don't really have, like, enormous stockings or anything, but they're, they're like, we've had them our entire lives. Mm-hmm. Like, I think, again, like, my Nana made these stockings. They all have our names on them, and we always... Uh, but for some reason, my sister, Lauren, ha- and Jess, too, they have huge stockings, and then everyone else is just normal-sized ones. <laughs> and then my mom would always be like, it's because Lauren's the oldest. She has a big stocking. Well, it's probably because, like, they had the first two kids and mm-hmm. got them huge stockings and then had two more and were like, oh, I don't want to, you know... Yeah. It was just getting too expensive. Yeah. <laughs> but it would be, like, we get up, we all get organized, have a little, like, have coffee or something like that, mm. and then we we go at the stockings, right? See, the thing is, my brother used to sleep in all the time. Like, he could sleep till, like, four in the afternoon. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know how, but... Yeah. So it was always, like, I'd wake up, and I'd wake up my mom, because she's such a late sleeper, and she's like, okay, fine, if you can wake up your brother, we can do Christmas. And I'd, like, be, like, standing on him or, like, jumping on him. Trying to wake him up, and he just wouldn't wake up. I'm like, I want to open presents. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Me and Cheyenne, my sister Cheyenne, we would wake up so early, mm. like four in the morning. I know that morning. was me too. But then it would be like we'd kind of not get in trouble, but we would learn that it's too early. Mm. So what we would do is we'd go watch movies, That's go watch smart. Christmas movies. We watch yeah. like all three of the Santa Claus movies, watch the Snowman. Yeah. I'd always just watch The Grinch over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> The animated one. Yeah. I had it on VHS. Oh. You okay? Yeah, I have, like, I slept funny. I have a sore neck and shoulder. Ooh, pardon me. Oh. But we gotta wrap presents. Like, we're a little bit behind. We are. We have most gifts for people. We have a few more to get. But the cool thing is, like... I feel like it's kind of exciting leaving it a little bit longer because then that's the challenge. You have to find something. <laughs> that is the worst possible reason to want to leave it longer. No. I'm not. To make it a challenge. I don't want to leave it longer. I want to be organized. You're such a bum. But the thing is, I get so excited about Christmas. I don't show it, but I am so excited about Christmas that the thing is, I don't want like that part of Christmas to be over yet. Mm. You know? Like, you know that, like, Boxing Day, Boxing Day, for those of you um, not in Canada or the UK, is... uh, It's like Black Friday. It's like Black Friday, but, like, the day after Christmas. The 26th is, like, when we have all the sales. Actually, we have Boxing Week, right? Like, you know, like... (laughs) I know, it started as Boxing Day, and now it's, like, Boxing Week. And then there's, like, pre-Boxing Week, and it's, like... I noticed that we drove by an electronics store the other day. It's, like, get started on Boxing Week. It's, like, it's the 16th. (laughs) And what? <laughs> it just felt like so early. Yeah. It's like, why don't you guys just have good sales all the time? Mm-hmm. Or and, just call it like pre-Christmas sale. Yeah, exactly. Like getting ready. For, like, yeah, exactly. And then that would be another reason for people to shop there because we're trying to find gifts for people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want to, I don't really have like the time, but I really wanted to explore some more like Christmassy cocktails this year. Right. But then I don't want to, like, drink a lot. I want to make stuff, but then I don't want to waste ingredients and alcohol. It's not wasting ingredients if you're making drinks. I know, but, like, right now, who's going to drink it? My dad will get home from work and be like, have one, and then he'll be like, I gotta go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> but you can have a sip, and then if you enjoy it, then you can keep sipping, or if you don't enjoy it, or if you don't want it, you just pour it out. Yeah, so that's true. It's, it's practice, and I'm learning. Yeah. That's like, I when I learned... Like, the very first part of bartending that I learned, I went to a school, and all the alcohols weren't, they were just colored water. So I didn't really feel bad about pouring stuff out if I screwed it up, or, you know, obviously I'm not going to drink it, but, yeah. The, anyway. The thing that I really wanted to do this year that I didn't really end up doing was going to more, like, Christmas-themed stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, I really wanted to go to Burnaby Heritage Museum, which we tried to go to, like, three times, and it was just closed every time. And we got in for, like, three minutes. <laughs> Yeah, you were like, I'm going to use the washroom, and then you went, and then suddenly everyone was, like, coming my way, and I was like, what's happening? Yeah. She was like, are you going out the back? And I'm like, 
yeah like i don't know what she meant and she was yeah. like okay i'll radio them you can go i'm like okay and we go and this guy's like uh you know we're closed right and i was like no <laughs> online says you're open till nine it's only five o'clock but anyways. Yeah. Um, we might get a chance to try and go there again. Yeah, because I wanted to do, like, Christmassy stuff for Vlogmas. And it just yeah. hasn't happened. We Like, I haven't had any time or luck. Like, I want to do Capilano. I wanted to do the Van Dusen one. Yeah, but the other problem is it's been raining almost every single yeah, day. Yeah, everything's outdoors. Yeah. Blech. And I want it to snow. Like, I know I'm an adult now. I'm not supposed to want it to snow. But I want it to snow. What's wrong with wanting it to snow? I don't know. When I was a kid, it was like, you're a kid, you want it to snow, right? And then, well, yeah, because the adults have to drive everywhere, but we don't really have to do anything. I don't care. I like driving in the snow. Um, but And, like, Jess, which is really funny. My sister Jess, if you're watching this, I'm, like, calling you out a little bit. But, like, the thing is, growing up, she'd always be like, ugh, snow. And then she moves to Toronto. <laughs> like, the thing is... You brought that on yourself. You can't complain about snow now because <laughs> you made that decision. <laughs> and then when you come here, if it snows, you can't complain about it either because it rarely snows here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the guy I shot with yesterday, photographer, he was like, yeah, it snowed so much last year. I was really surprised because everyone told me it doesn't snow. It just mm. rains. I'm like, well, yeah, usually we get like one day of snow and then it rains it all the way and we, it doesn't stay. But for some reason last year, we did get a lot of snow. And it was like mostly in like February. January, February. Yeah, I don't know if it's, you know, climate change or whatever, but things feel really weird, like different mm -hmm. weather-wise than when I was a kid because it did feel like, you know, I remember when I was a kid, if I go trick-or-treating on Halloween, you'd have to dress really warm because it would be below zero, mm -hmm. right? This year, it was still warm in August yeah. or October. Of course, it was warm in August, gig. You have to wear like a winter coat over your costume. It yeah. sucked. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I remember... It was sunny here till like, November. We didn't start getting rain till November. Yeah. And it usually, just feels so weird to me. Usually we get rain, like, September, October, all the way to May. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just wish... I don't know. I wish things... I wish things were like they used to be. No, but it's totally fair to wish that climate change wasn't happening. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like... I understand, like, people not wanting to believe in it. Because... I don't want to believe in it, but it's there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It feels like, really? Oh, is it actually, it's happening. No. <laughs> because the thing is, I remember lots of snow when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. And now it's like, like a big deal when it snows. Mm -hmm. Like, I remember, even if it was like one weekend, it would still, if, even if it was one weekend that it snowed a lot, it would still snow on and off a little bit throughout winter. And I guess technically, technically, this also feels wrong to me. Winter isn't supposed to be until December 22nd. Mm. Like, that's when winter starts. It never really snowed here very much. No? No. When I lived in Burnaby, it, like, from what I remember, it, it, yeah, it didn't snow. We mm. never had a snow day in okay. my whole my whole childhood. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if we had them where I grew up, but that's because most kids lived close to school, so mm. they could just walk anyways. But. Well, I mean, that's the same with. With where I live, too, but... Yeah. Um, but, like, I'm pretty sure we didn't have enough snow for it to be a snow day. Yeah. And if you tried to have, like, a snowball fight, it didn't work. Yeah. It was either, like, dirty or just, like, ice. Yeah. I gotta take you up to the mountain and in the... I wanna go skiing. Yeah. I've been wanting to go skiing for, like, eight years. Every, every winter, I'm like, I'm gonna go skiing, and then don't do it. <laughs> I haven't been skiing since I was, like, 14 or 15. And my skis are so tiny. Mm. It's weird because I thought, like, I haven't grown since I was a teenager. But then I look at my skis, I'm like, these are so small. <laughs> and I got them when I was, like, 13 or 14. Mm. Hmm. What? I'm excited for Christmas. <laughs> well, what kind you of... You look like you were grimacing. <laughs> no. Oh, no. I'm just, like, I'm excited for Christmas... I'm kind of, like, there's some things I'm bummed about this year just because, like, yes, I'm excited to go home to, like, my childhood home and celebrate Christmas, but we don't have any, like, decorations or anything Christmassy here. Mm. So it feels like I can't really, ex like, let myself feel it. I can't let myself feel it until, you know, in, like, a like five days or whatever when we go. But, mm. yeah. I guess I understand That's why I was that. like, maybe I should buy, it like, just a set of lights and I can put it up here. We should have turned on those. I'll turn them on right now. 
<laughs> we have some lights on the door for those of you not um for those of you just listening to the podcast there's also a video version on youtube yeah but we have some nice fairy lights they're not yeah. really Christmassy, but they're still nice yeah they're more like white girl aesthetic <laughs> yeah you white girl yeah i am surprise <laughs> mm. Well, I can't think of any more traditions for, yeah. for Christmas. I guess this could just be holiday traditions, right? Yeah. So. Uh, the other thing we do is, like, we have Christmas morning, right? We do the stockings, and then we, like, take turns. We make, like, the, we try and take as long as we can with the gifts. Like, mm. just, you know. That's what we do on my dad's side, but on my mom's side, it's, like, everyone open presents at the same time so that we can get it over, <laughs> get it with, over with as yeah. soon as possible so we can eat breakfast. Yeah. Like, sometimes near the end, we'll be, like, doing two people at once, but usually it's just, like, one at a time, and mm -hmm. try and, like, cycle through everybody, Yeah. It, and just to try and enjoy it. Um, but then what we'll do is we'll have breakfast, usually, like, pretty late anyways, mm -hmm. um, and then just relax, chill out, maybe watch a movie, and then in the evening, we'll have, you know, a big dinner, and we don't, like, dress up or anything, sometimes we're still in our pajamas, and we do the Christmas crackers. Nice. That's, like, how we started, we do the Christmas crackers, and then we eat relax yeah my mom's side of the family we seem to do dinner now instead of breakfast we used to do like christmas morning we'd have a scottish breakfast oh, right nice. the scottish bread and uh black pudding yeah and stuff like that um but now we, we just seem to do dinner we have a turkey yeah i don't know why i think we it's too early in the morning for everyone to come over you know mm -hmm. <laughs> um I have some New Year's traditions, though. Yeah? Yeah. Like, every every New Year's Eve, we go out for dinner to the keg. Right. Which is something I've only experienced since dating you, right? Yeah. So that's cool, because <laughs> my family never really did anything for New Year's. We just stay mm -hmm. at home and watch the countdown. Yeah. But yeah, I actually really like that, going out to the keg. And you Getting get, like, dressed up. You get dressed up, maybe have a drink, and have a special meal. Yeah. You know? And for some reason, like, we'll go to the keg maybe a couple more times throughout the year. But when on New Year's, it just feels so much more special. Yeah. We don't usually go to the keg very much during the year, though. No. We maybe go once. But sometimes we get, yeah, once or twice, I feel like. We did the last couple years, but, like, um, more recently, mm. we haven't been doing it as much. Hmm. Anyways. What? Nothing. You're staring at me. You're staring at me. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. I need food. Yeah, we should eat. Yeah. Um. Yeah, maybe we should wrap it up now. Sure. You guys, let us know what you guys do for the holidays. I know not everyone celebrates Christmas. I mean, and for us, again, it's not even like a religious thing. It's a yeah. family thing. Um, we want to start a new holiday tradition, and that's um, donating to a charity every Christmas. And we thought a cool thing to do would be to donate in dollars the amount of subscribers that we have on our podcast channel. So right now we have 77 subscribers. Um, so we're going to donate $77 to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Yeah. And we encourage you guys to donate to a charity too. We highlight lots of different charities in our podcasts if you need some ideas. Um, but I think the ones that we love are the Make-A-Wish Foundation um, Project Limelight, um, Kids Up Front is a really cool one. Yeah. You can, like, gift tickets and stuff, um, to kids that don't get as many opportunities, which mm -hmm. is really cool. We also really like animals, so donate to any kind of animal rescue or animal yeah. shelter. Um, yeah. Um, this will probably be our last podcast of the year, right? Yeah. So we want to wish you guys, you know, happy holidays and a happy new year. And we're really excited to see, you know, where this podcast goes in the new year. Mm -hmm. We're still going to continue with it. Yeah. Uh, I know sometimes we miss one every, every once in a while. Like this <laughs> last, week, last week. We completely forgot. <laughs> On but Sunday we've been busy. we were like, wait a second. <laughs> yeah, I, got, I was working and then I got home from work and I was like, Erica reminded me. And I was just like so upset <laughs> yeah you were like no and a couple people messaged me and was like i was waiting for the podcast uh, and i was like i'm sorry we missed that we missed that we done goofed yeah but anyways we're so excited for the new year yeah if you need more holiday videos no more holiday more content holiday content 
featuring us. I'm still doing Vlogmas till the 25th. And, um, um, yeah, <laughs> that's it. I'm in some of those videos. Yes. Next week we are taking off for the podcast, but we'll see you in the new year. Yeah. We'll see you next decade. Wow. 2020. Holy cow. That's scary. Happy new year, everybody. Happy new year. Bye.